Okay, so this is the tutorial for setting up the Disk Verifier Parted Magic module with Parted Magic and how to use it. So first off, as you can see here, we'll need some stuff. So we need the Disk Verifier um, Parted Magic module and we need Parted Magic itself. You have to buy these things. I'll provide links for that in the, um, in the description. So, um, first we'll need a USB stick, which I will plug in now. So this is the USB stick we're using. I'll show you how to do this with DVD as well, but first off we'll show you USB. Um, so we don't need that open, but we do need something called unit booting, which I will open now. Okay, so this is unit booting. If you're running macOS, you could use disk utility to do this, I believe. Um, and if you're running Windows, you could use something called Rufus, but there are loads and loads of tools that can do this for you. I believe Unit Bootin might run on Windows and Mac OS as well. I will now, so I need to select the ISO file, so I will do that. Okay, so that's part of Magic selected, and I need to check that this is the right drive, because if it's not, then I could lose data. So I'm just going to open GNOME Disks. Here we go. You can see it's slash dev slash sde1, that's the right drive. So then you can hit OK and it will start writing the data. I'm going to speed this up for you though. OK, now we're installing the beat loader. This doesn't take very long if I remember right. It might pop up and ask me, here we go, whether I should overwrite files. And I recall you should just press yes to all. OK, so we're done. Mostly. So what we have is a parted magic live USB now, but we don't have disk verifier on it. So what we need to do is open it, open another window, head to pmagic, pmodules, and then copy this and paste it in there. And that is it. So this is now ready to use. So you can eject it and remove it. And you can boot, and um, uh, you can boot your computer off it now, and this verifier should be ready to use. But before we jump in and demonstrate it, I'm going to instead show you how to do the same thing here, but with a DVD or a CD instead. Okay, so now we are going to remaster the ISO so that we can have a CD or a DVD with the disk verifier module on. Although, do note that this is over 700 megabytes, the current version of Parted Magic at the time of writing, so you probably have to use a DVD. And you should also note that if you go to partedmagic.com slash adding dash programs, um, and there's a link for that in the video description and in the blog post, um, you will find these instructions there as well, for both USB and DVD. Um, but without further ado, this is you probably only can do this on a Linux or Mac OS system because you have to use the command line. So I'm going to make a temporary directory. And what I have to do is mount this ISO and then copy the files from it into the temporary directory. So I can do this by doing... Oops. So that's the name of the ISO. And I want to mount it to... I haven't made that file yet, that folder, and I need to do this as super user. Okay, that's done. So now what I need to do is copy everything from that temporary directory. And this is the contents of the parted magic ISO. I need to copy all of that to here, which shouldn't take very long. There we go. So now I can unmount that as root. Okay, that's done. And if we go in here, then we should have a bunch of files. So now what we need to do is kind of the same as what we did before. So you need to copy this part of magic module and stick it in pmagic, pmodules. But I can't because I don't have permission. So we'll fix that quickly. Uh, here we go. So I'm just going to change me to be the owner of everything here. And now, should be able to um yeah 
Yeah. Okay. I need to give myself write permissions as well. Okay. Now we should be good, I think. Yep. Okay. So the module's in there now. But now we have the problem of making this back into an image that we can burn to a CD or a DVD. In which case, all we need to do, I believe, is run... Yeah, need to run it with bash. Ah, okay. Okay, so I'm not going to edit that bit out because that highlights something, which is that this folder here can't have a space in it, and neither can any of the others leading up to this. So I need to head back in here and try it again, and now it will work. It will create our ISO image, which is here, and it's called the same thing as before, but it has a T on the end of it. And it's a little bit bigger, but not very much, because this is only a 44 kilobyte file. So what we have there, we can now boot um, an operate, we can now boot a computer with and use the module, which is what I'm going to show you next. Okay, so unfortunately because of life being what it is, there's not a very easy way for me to show you this. So what I've done is, this is my laptop, and this is the USB stick I prepared earlier. So I'm going to plug it in, and you'll, you'll be watching me recording my screen the old-fashioned way, which isn't perfect, but it should work. So I need to select SanDisk Cruiser Blade, because that's what it is. And then Live with Default Settings is what I'm going to go for, because it should be faster. And then you should see all of the usual part of Magic boot up stuff happening. There you go. So it will say verifying package. And this is a normal warning. It says package has not been created with make package. Don't worry about it. It does that. That's fine. That doesn't mean you've done anything wrong or that your file is corrupted or anything. You should just see a short package description and that is that. And then it will continue the boot up as usual. So we're going to fast forward this. Okay, so we're about done with the boot up process now, so I'll get my drive out that we are going to wipe. So this is my scratch disk in a USB enclosure, which is basically an old SSD. You might have heard that secure erasing a USB drive is a bad idea, and you are absolutely right. Do not do this. This works in this particular instance, but it can brick your drive, so Seriously, it's not worth doing this. This is for demonstration purposes only. So we'll go up to Erase Disk. And we want to secure Erase and add a drive. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so it will let us pick which drive to wipe. Because this is a USB drive, I'm going to have to tell it to show all devices. And it's going to moan about USB drives. But I know it works with this, so that's fine. Okay, so we have that, which is the internal drive. That's the USB stick, and that's the drive we want to pipe. So, want to pick that one, the secure arrays. The enhanced one should be fine as well, but I don't have that option here. So then, because Disk Verifier is installed, you have this option here. Auto start, auto close, and how much you want to verify. We're just going to do 10% because we don't want to be here forever. And we'll stick the beep option on as well. So we should wipe this SSD, which isn't going to take very long because it doesn't, and then verify it. So we'll hit continue now. It should say it will take two minutes. Here we go. I allow it to erase the drives and hit start erase. And this is now erasing. Okay, so that's how long it took. And now, Disk Verify will open and start verifying the disk automatically. 
This is going to take a little while because of the speed of the processor in this laptop, but because we're only verifying 10% it shouldn't be too bad. So that's 48 gig on this drive because it's a 480 gigabyte drive. So as we go this will slowly fill up and if you want you can hit about and see when it was released and stuff like that, the copyright information. Um, so we're now going to skip to the end of this and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we're getting quite near the end now, you can see it's 98% done. So what it should do in a minute is finish and you'll get a green pulse there where you can see the throbber and then this will close and it will drop you back to the secure arrays GUI and that will give you a summary of what's happened. Here we go. And here we go. We have log saving options. Then if you want to save, you can save. I don't care, so I'll just hit OK. And that's that. We're done. Um, if anything else happens, other than a green throb there and success, then what that means is your secure arrays failed for some reason, or that there's possibly a bug in my um, disk verifier GUI. Either way, please let me know. Um, I'll give you a link to where you can let me know in the video description and on the blog if you encounter any issues. That's it for now though. If you use this program, good luck using it and I hope that your verification, your secure arrays, all works fine and see you in the next video.